Apparently, there's something very famous in Hookville. The guy told us that the place we're looking for is right down there. This is really beautiful. I'm really in love with this place. Here we are in a little town called Hookville, nearby wilderness along the garden route in South Africa. And apparently, there's something very famous in Hookville. A cheesecake is very famous. So we're trying to find a place. There's two, two or three places that advertise cheesecake, but I wonder which one is the very famous one. So this says best coffee and cheesecake. That's the question. We don't know there were so many signs. The guy told us that the place we're looking for is right down there, the one we drove past before. Very legit sign. <laughs> So this is not just a bakery, it's a convenience store, it's everything together. The breads look really beautiful if we have enough time and if they are so open we can buy some bread before we go. And now we just enjoy our cheesecake. Oh wow, thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's so cute. We decided to sit outside because their sitting area here is really good. Mm. Pretty good, huh? Generally, one slice of cheesecake works for Steven and I to share. We don't eat much sweet stuff. <laughs> Did you notice something, Steven? All the toys in the playground, they are recycled things like the tires there, and right there is an old jet ski for kids to play with. You're right. That's really cool. And the horses, the rocking horses. Yeah. You see it a lot in South Africa, people repurposing things because things here cost a lot of money. It gives a space to a lot of creativity to repurpose other things. If, if, you, if you cannot afford to be buying a lot of new stuff, but you have a lot of old stuff or stuff you're not using, you may as well use it somehow. So you see a lot of furniture that's made with reclaimed materials. And uh, look, look above at this wooden cover. Yeah. It's, uh, that's very common in South Africa. Yeah. It's really beautiful. I really like how they do things. <laughs> Look at this bushes down here. They look like dusters. Yeah. So cute. This is, I grew up with this. There we go. <laughs> I'm definitely feeling my life getting better. <laughs> really charming. It was very well planned, very well decorated, and it has a lot of character.
Around the whole structure, you see these beams here. They go all around, and I'm not sure if I have seen this before. The kitchen is one of my favorite parts of any house. It's enough space for you to prep your food, cook, and then sit here and eat your meal. Utensils up here. This is very interesting. It seems to be very common here in South Africa. It's an oven, but it's also a stove. You have your hot plates on the top. <laughs> it's so space efficient, guys. I want this for my van. You have the table in front of a diamond shaped window. This is our bed with a really beautiful view behind and something I am not tired of here in South Africa wooden windows this is very characteristic of the country the wood gives a lot of contrast with all the whites around and there is a lot of white here and they look really beautiful together <laughs> if we are ever attacked by baboons at night we have these rods <laughs> to use to defend ourselves <laughs> i'm kidding there are zebras everywhere on the bed on the pillow I need board the broom. <laughs> oh my word, is this exactly the same color? Everything here is zebranized. The floor is carpeting, but the floor when you come to the kitchen is tile. You can see that it was made rounded because of the walls, right? I don't know if you can see this well. Let me just close the door. I actually, I didn't notice the rough walls until now. Maybe because this space is smaller and you can see the walls better. This is really beautiful. I'm really in love with this place. I like the way they put everything together. All the colors, everything has such a good feeling. Before I forget, buildings like this one are called Rondavus. But the people who owns this Rondavu calls it the Rondi, which is a cute name. So the Rondi is located in a Christian farming community. They also have a bakery very famous around wilderness called the Heritage Bakery. Unfortunately, by the time we arrived here, it was too late and the bakery was already closed. But I hope next time we come to Wilderness, we get to find the bakery open. But on the other hand, we got to spend a little bit of time with the people in the community. They are awesome. They told us a little bit about their community and the history behind the Rondi. When they moved here, the Rondi wasn't fully built to the stage that it is now. So they finished it to the point that you could see now in this video. And they rent it out on Airbnb. If you actually want to sleep here we will drop the link in the description of this video no we are not being paid to advertise for them it's just that we love the roundy and we love the people so much that we really want to share this with you guys 